I'm Deborah Borchardt, and this is your Marijuana Money Minute. You've probably seen on the news all the fires out in California. We're hearing that there are some cannabis farms that were destroyed in those fires. We want you to know that we're thinking of you, and our hearts go out to you. This week, Pennsylvania Democratic Governor Tom Wolf said that regulating adult use cannabis and restoring justice to those with past marijuana convictions were among his fall legislative priorities. So big news out of Pennsylvania. Columbia cares that it's planning on buying the green solution out of Colorado. This company has unaudited revenues through July 2020 of $52.7 million. And Columbia Care says the deal will be immediately accretive. MindMed said that it is going to do a study on MDMA and LSD at the University Hospital in Basel. The idea is that they're going to do a phase one trial that will begin in the fourth quarter to look at whether MDMA will reduce the potential of a bad trip if you're having an LSD medical treatment. We have a lot of earnings to go over this week, so we're just gonna hit the highlights here. Tilt Holdings said that its revenue fell 9% to $38.6 million sequentially. And the company blamed COVID-related headwinds on that. They said that there were decreased sales at their vape company, Jupiter Research. They also said that there was a decline in some of the wholesale business because of the suspension of adult use cannabis sales in Massachusetts. Vireo Health reported that their revenue went up. Now, if you look at the revenue with the discontinued operations, it was $12 million. If you take out those discontinued operations, it was 10.8 million, but that's still an increase of 59%. Now their net losses did go to 8.9 million. So uh, that was versus a net loss of 1.8 million in the 2019 second quarter. The Canadian based Inner Spirit Holdings, which is known for their chain called Spirit Leaf, reported that they had system wide retail sales of $20.5 million. That was an increase of 343%. And that's over 4.6 million in the second quarter in 2019. Hollister Biosciences reported that their revenue was $8.47 million in the second quarter. That's versus just 0.2 million for the same time period last year. The company attributed the revenue growth to the sale of concentrates, pre-rolls and contract manufacturing services. Air Strategies said that their revenue fell 16% to $28 million in the second quarter from 33 million. The company also reported a net loss of seven and a half million with this, this is a little worse than the previous quarter's net loss of, or net income of 1.6 million. And that's it for this week. I'm Deborah Borchart with the Green Market Report.